Welcome back to the Midnight Who Show. Today I'm going to be reviewing the final chapter of Doctor Who Flux, The Vanquishers. And I liked it and enjoyed it, but also at the same time, didn't like a few parts of this episode. But I think as a whole conclusion, it was satisfying. But it did leave me with a lot of more like, really? Okay, what's going on? Like, not sure what's going to happen. But I simply think it's because what I've been hinting at throughout my many reviews that Flux just has too many characters. And in this finale, you're trying to, you know, basically bring their storylines to a close in 60 minutes, and it was just not enough. Because, like, the Grand Serpent, okay? I like the character, but we had to finish his art. Kate Leftward stewart was there. She didn't do much in the story for me. But I really... But then at the same time, I actually kind of like Vendor and Bell's story. I still think it's something that could have been cut from the overall Flux event, but I think it's a good exploration of basically people who survived the Flux and what they'll go, you know, go for to find each other. But I didn't think they were necessary for this overall conclusion. Now also, Joey Whitaker was amazing in this story. I think this was one of my favorite performances from her, from Flux. And of course, her back and forth with herself was absolutely hilarious. The Santarans were very, I really enjoyed them in this story, actually. You know, and you know, even that chocolate scene. But seriously, though, it's, I think it very shows how sinister the Santarans are. You know, how they're basically trying to basically be the ultimate vanquishers by wiping out the Daleks and Cybermen by tricking them to go to this location. But with Swarm and Azur, I think they were just kind of wasted toward the end. You know, we find their really true motive is just to really just get revenge with, you know, to the Doctor and kind of keep resetting the flux so it keeps happening over and over again. And speaking of the flux, I'm not quite sure. Does this mean the whole universe is destroyed? Or did they fix it? Because I think it was way too blink and you miss it. But yeah. And of course, you know, it's just one of those episodes that I'm just like, it's another Chibnall finale that just tries to wrap way too much up. I think this is still my favorite of his finales, but I'm still disappointed in it. I think overall, I did enjoy Flux. The first four episodes were really highlights for me. I actually enjoyed watching them. But by the fifth and sixth episodes, I think it just kind of fell flat. I still had some enjoyment out of Flux, but I still had some enjoyment out of these last two episodes, but it was just way too much going on. I do like that we still don't quite have those mysteries of who the Doctor was. I'm, I kind of like that the pocket watch was just put in the TARDIS for storage. That was great. But yeah, and oh yeah, the passengers absorbing the Flux. There's a lot going on in this episode, and it makes it hard to kind of overall give my thoughts on it. It's all over the place, much like this episode. But at least I can say I enjoyed Flux. I don't think the last two episodes were the strongest. And I do hope we get to see Kate Stewart again, because I just didn't quite like her, how she was used in this episode, if that makes sense. It's just like she was there. And I think the Grand Serpent was unfortunately wasted, too. But that's what happens when you have so many characters. Sometimes... Some of them just get wasted. So if you've seen Doctor Who Flux, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.